It's all just getting a bit strange, isn't it? It's a looted video. They're always a bit strange. Welcome back guys to another edition of Lewd. Now over lockdown, my muscles have slowly turned into dust as I haven't been doing anything. They are feeble. They are weak, weak, pathetic, pathetic, embarrassing. In well, embarrassing, I guess. Outright embarrassing. You said embarrassing, really. Yeah, but I felt like I needed to say it twice. So to bring myself back up to peak physical performance, I've gone ahead and bought myself a load of Electroshock, acupuncture, therapy, massages, and stimulators to find out which one is the best. And hopefully after this video, I'll be feeling younger and more stimulated and ready to take on the world. Or I'll just be a complete and absolute wreck and just in a lot of pain. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be the latter. I hope it's the latter. Thanks, Ben. Oh, also Ben's back to the one webcam spam account on Facebook, which asked for him to come back. There you go. So to kick things off, we're gonna start with the neck massager because it's a neck massager. It should be quite nice. It should be a nice, easy entrance into what might just be a world of pain. So in the box, we've got the smart neck massager manual. And then here is the neck massager. Wow, all right. It looks more like a fancy pair of headphones more than something that you massage your neck with. The red matte finish is actually quite nice. It looks quite expensive, but I can assure you, it's not. Is it a neck massager or is it a fashion accessory? So the bits on the back here are the electro pads, which just rest on your neck and will shock you and might be very uncomfortable or very relaxing. We have yet to know. And on the side here, you've got your buttons, you've got your on and off, you've got your mode change and you've got your plus and minus. And obviously the plus and the minus will adjust how much this shocks you. Ooh, look at that. Different colors for different modes. So before we start, we need a wet towel. Who wants to get the wet towel? Intern. It's just a massager, nothing to worry about. Ooh, <laughs> that is a weird sensation. That doesn't feel so bad. It does feel like my neck is trying to like twist. Ah, oh, it's like I'm being jabbed in the back of the neck. Like, this might be the best one. What if we just up the power on this one? Oh God, this is weird. This is really, really weird. Next mode, next mode. This one just feels like it's trying to tear your head off your neck. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, you definitely don't want to up the power on this one. It really takes your neck for a ride. <laughs> Three, four, five. Uh, oh, it just feels like someone's like grabbing your head and pulling it back. As fashionable as this thing looks, I wouldn't wear it out in public because as soon as you turn it on and your neck starts moving backwards, like you're possessed by something that's trying to escape your body, you might look a bit weird, but it's doing something. I don't know if it's good or not, but it's definitely doing something. Oh, oh God, it's like I'm being stabbed with uh, blunt needles. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Do you feel it working? Yeah, Do you feel yourself? something tickles down my spine. <laughs> my, I can feel it in my whole shoulders. Do you feel massaged? No, <laughs> this isn't relaxing. I think we've exhausted everything we can do with this product. Let's move on. Next up, we've got the EMS Foot Fit Stimulator. Massage the soles of your feet to soothe the swelling of the feet. Promote blood circulation in the feet and improve sleep. Strengthen ankle exercises to reduce ankle injuries. The English is slowly getting worse. And adjust the calf muscle and shape the calves. That actually doesn't sound all that bad. That sounds quite helpful. So fingers crossed, it actually is. So as well as the mat, we've got our wireless controller and the electroshocky bit. Put that on there. So the cool thing about this mat is that it comes with a wireless remote and it has up to six settings and it goes up to a max power of 15, which sounds like it's gonna be very comfortable on your feet. Moment of truth. Let's stand on the mat. Let's just rack up the power and see what happens. Ooh, it's like tingly, tingly in my toes. All right, we're gonna go straight up to 10. You can kind of hear it, it's like a clicking noise. It's really weird. <laughs> all right, let's just rack it all the way up to 15. <laughs> ah, it really shocks the tendons on the bottom of your feet and it just, it feels a bit painful, but it also feels like they're getting kind of a good stretch. It's weird, I don't understand it. Mode number two, what does that do? It feels a bit sharp. I don't like it, it's like stepping on glass, or at least what well, I imagine stepping on glass feels like. Bloody raving right now, isn't it? <laughs> After a while, you do kind of get used to it, so it's not as much of a shock. I mean, it's still a shock because it is literally electrocuting you, but you know what I mean. Oh, this, this mode just feels like I'm being chipped away. Like someone's just like got a hammer and chisel and just, oh, sh ah, oh, that caught me off guard. Oh, oh, let's go all the way up my legs. Oh yeah, I feel it. Oh, that's weird. Wait for it. Oh, oh God, why? Oh, that's horrible. Oh, 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 oh. That is insane. Oh, but there's something quite sad. It feels like someone's squeezing your legs. I think it's making my feet sweat slightly, which is making it more conductive. Ben, put your hands on it. No, five at full. Oh my <laughs> fuck! <laughs> <laughs> One hand, and then complete the circuit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. Do I really don't. 
<laughs> that's, that's why you're meant to stand on this, Ben. It's, it was not made. <laughs> Like, hammering at your wrist. Oh, that's not good. I think we're done with this one. And next up, we've got the Meridian Energy Acupuncture Pen. So this right here is basically a pen which electrocutes you and you have a load of different heads which do different things. I've seen these advertised literally everywhere and I've always wanted to give one a go. So I'm actually very intrigued as to what this is all about. Look at this thing. It looks like something out of a sci-fi film and it doesn't look like it does anything positive. Acupuncture can be used to locate acupuncture points on the body and stimulate and unblock key flow. A bit hokey pokey. Studies have shown that low voltage therapy can be helpful for reducing free radicals in the blood, purging the body of viral and bacterial infections. Sure thing, my boy. If I went to go visit my doctor and they pulled this thing out, I'd be scared. I'd be worried what they're going to do to me. It's like they're going to extract something I've never heard of from my body. You know which hole it would go in. What, like your ear or something? Yeah, why not? Once you've turned it on, you've got a little screen here which shows you what power setting you've got it on. Right now we've got it on zero, but if we've just plus that. So you got one, two, all the way up to nine. So straight out of the box, it comes with the traditional acupuncture head. But if you remove that, apparently that is the point acupuncture. But let's go ahead and start with the default and see what that does. I'm just going to put it on my hand. I think that's a good place to start. Oh, ooh, ooh, it's like a little, just a little twinge. It's not doing much. It's like an insect walking on your skin or something. Let's move up to number two. Oh, you fit it right down your fingers. Oh, it's feels like I have pins and needles. It's really weird. Look at that little finger fly. That stings. That really stings. See, if I do it to your hand, I have a feeling it's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work because you need to complete this circuit by holding it with your own hand. If someone else is doing it, it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just put it on your head. Yes, don't do that. <laughs> only on four. I'm really curious about the scraping massage head, which just looks like a tiny blade. Do you like scrape? I'm not sure. I should look this one up. Applicable for acupuncture and blood circulation. That told me nothing. Yeah, really not sure about this one. Why the scraping? What's the benefit of the scraping? It's all just getting a bit strange, isn't it? It's a looted video. They're always a bit strange. So I'm not too sure about the scraping one, but let's go ahead and try the facial beauty acupuncture, which is applicable for healthcare and facial beautification, which is the most vague description I've ever heard, and it's probably a load of so for this one here, you just put it sort of like in points on your face and sort of tense those muscles. Don't know how that's going to go. Maybe I'm going to look really young after this or it's going to age me dramatically. Let's find out. You can just hear it like clicking away. It's like tick, 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 tick. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, oh, it stings above the eyebrow. That's weird. <laughs> it does feel like acupuncture, so I've got to give them that. It just feels like a load of tiny needles being put into your skin. This is normal. So the last head we've got to try is the acupuncture tapping massage, which you can use to either roll across your body or use it to tap. It's a lot more gentle because I feel like the electricity is more dispersed across the whole roller. I think rolling's more effective than tapping, but you still definitely feel the electricity. Oh, ah, oh, 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 oh. All right, I really hit a nerve. How to get yourself demonetized. Show too much leg. Oh, there's a leg going. Woo! If you put it there, you can really feel it down your heel, which is a really weird sensation. It actually just feels like I'm walking across pebbles or something. All in all, I don't really think that this device is all that bad. It's very versatile with the different heads. You just have so many options of what you can do with it. And once you've done your research and actually know where to use this thing exactly on your body, I think you actually could get some quite relieving benefits out of it. So yeah, so far this one, probably the best one. So up next we have what I'm going to assume is the most effective one as it is actually like a medical piece of equipment, which I've seen a lot, the TENS machine. But you never know, it could be rubbish because I bought it from Amazon. It wasn't exactly like it was given to me by a medical professional. It might leave me worse off than when I started this video, but let's find out. So in the box we've got manual, important information, pads. Oh my God, this thing looks so medical. I am not qualified to be using this. So in this little booklet, they've actually got examples of where you can place the electrodes to actually relieve different pains or stiffness, all sorts of pains. And I think I'm going to go for a wrist pain because I get quite a lot of wrist pain these days, which is actually a bit annoying, especially when you're editing for hours. I really hope that no one's watching this video going, oh yeah, they're making a lot of sense. We should buy one of those. Really, you should consult your doctor before buying any of these, especially if you have previous heart conditions or anything like that. Please don't listen to two idiots on the internet because that's not going to get you anywhere. It's probably just going to make things worse. Hey, I'm not an idiot. I'm a buffoon. Oh, sorry, my bad. Pulse width to 200, pulse rate to about 50, and do for 60 minutes twice daily. Yeah, not doing that. So let's start with this side here. Oh, 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 oh. Fight it. Fight it, hand. And then turn up the other one. Oh, f 
Oh, that sudden tensing. Oh, I've got a permanent claw now. I'm like trying to stretch my hand out, but it just keeps going back. How are you meant to do this for 60 minutes continuously? Twice daily in some cases. I've got to remember which way is off because I have a tendency of accidentally turning it up and off and off. Oh, apparently that's good for wrist pain. And honestly, I can see why. It does feel more relieved. Let's just say that. Three, two, one. Oh, maximum power. Four. How to make people shorter. It's, it's a lot more relieving if you do this. It's like, you know, take the toilet position. But as soon as you start to stand up. Ah! Oh, so painful. <laughs> okay, all right, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> My legs feel so light after that. As I expected, the TENS machine is probably the most effective piece of kit we're going to use today. When you use it in the right places, you do actually feel a bit of relief. But we still got one more to try. Now, the final product that we're going to be checking out today is probably the most interesting one because I've never heard of it before. And it's in this little bag. And when I saw it listed online, it was labeled as a sax toy. And considering we do a lot of videos on instruments, I was very intrigued by the sax toy. So I thought I'd pick it up and see what it's all about. We've got a power pack with a few different settings. You've got your power button. You've got your tap, vibration, massage, auto, and speed. And then you've got your electrodes just here with attachable clamps. So you can have, I guess, a precision massage or muscle stimulation of sorts. I'm sure it's very medical and above board. Now, the worrying thing about this is that it doesn't actually come with any manual or anything like that, which makes me feel like it's a very legit product. I wonder if I can stimulate my earlobes. Ow, ow, oh, ow. These clips are savage. All right, let's turn it on to tap. Ow, ah, oh, ah, ah. Does it go stronger than that? Oh, no, no, it definitely goes stronger. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Oh, geez. All right. Turn it down. Let's try vibrating. Ah, why have I done this? Ah, all right. Massage. That's got to be soothing. Ah, it's not soothing at all. Ah, ah, I feel like that left a mark. So are you going to try on one of your nipples yet? Why did I do that? All right. Let's just turn on the power. Make sure it's on weak. Oh, that's weird. Oh, get your hands off that. Get your... Oh. Can't be that bad. No, look. Oh. Ben tried to turn up the volume and then I pulled it off so I didn't get shocked when I caught my finger. Turns out these clamps aren't exactly safe. They they will cut you fairly badly. <laughs> Definitely not linking these in the description. <laughs> and overall, I think this thing is just a bit too dangerous for a silly little joke in a video. So I'm gonna put it to one side and forget it ever existed. <laughs> now, if you came to this video looking for recommendations as to which products you should buy, honestly, you really shouldn't be listening to an idiot like me. You should consult a medical professional, go to your doctor before buying anything like this if you have a previous condition. But if you're looking for something to stimulate your muscles, I will say that all of these do their job perfectly fine. My personal favorite is the Accu punch a pen because it is so compact and you can precisely hit particular muscles and also it's quite subtle it's not painful to use and even on the max setting it's not all that bad whereas the mat and the neck massager do feel a little bit more gimmicky especially when you look at this thing i mean come on it looks like it should have a beats logo on it and not be a neck massager but they all do serve a purpose and they all do it pretty well just be sure to do your research before buying something like this just to make sure you don't hurt yourself and for the love of god don't buy a Sanks toy. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. And you can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.